happy Friday morning, beautiful people. You are tuned in to WDRB Media, the voice of the community. You're listening to Pause Reset on Plugged, and I'm your host, Natalie Francis Clark. Big up to those streaming live on TuneIn Radio, Streamer, Apple Radio, Radio with Two Ds, and wherever you're listening from. Uh, were the temperatures cool enough for you this week? Listen, I, I wasn't ready, okay? Um, I feel as if the cool air came in like a wrecking ball <laughs> Sunday morning. Um, the day when I had my first open house as a licensed North Carolina realtor. Just have to put that in there. Um, transparency, not one soul showed up. <laughs> but you want to know, the good thing is... Um, it was a great experience. It was great to get the um, the jitters out of the way. Uh, the uh, the listing agent, she was there, and she just you know just just she was great. So it was a great experience, despite no one showed up. However, I did get possible leads through social media, um, my social media post. So yes, that's progress, and you know, very excited. Uh, besides, I am so happy that I was preoccupied with the open house because the Patriots game last weekend, Sunday, that was beyond disappointing. Still a fan, though. I'm still a fan. Uh, I'm still a fan. But you know what, let me not even think about that horrendous score. Did I say horrendous score? Okay. Anyway, check it. If you are in North Carolina, specifically the greater region of Charlotte, um, and you are interested in buying or selling um, your home, you can reach out to me at 781-308-2952. That is 781-308-2952. And I just want to give this uh, piece of advice for anyone who um, it will be your first time buying a home. Uh, don't keep wondering, you know, just to just call. Uh, we can go through the steps, you know, of what you need to do to be ready. Sometimes the hardest part is getting the right answers. You know, just that is the hardest and the initial step. So, like I said, give me a call at 781-308-2952, or you can feel free to send me a text there. Wait a minute. I'm not realizing that it is Friday the 13th. You know what that means? It means it's 15 more days until the bus trip to Harris Cherokee Casino on October 28th. Uh, this will be given by Massive Mass Productions. The bus will leave 9 a.m. from 2025 East Arbor's Drive. Uh, Caribbean treats will be provided. The bus will return at 6 p.m. So get your ticket. Um, you can obtain your tickets by contacting me. I am a part of Massive Mass Production, 781-308-2952. You can send a text to 781, I'm sorry, 718-810-2013 or 704-451-2088, all right? You can definitely uh, text, call uh, to obtain your tickets. So let's take a quick break and um, we'll be right back. All night, all night, all night, all night, Hello, so glad that you can make it to the show. Me and my friends and them ready to go.
y'all. So you are listening to All Night. That was Bungie Garland and Sayan Lyons. So, you know, um, as I let you all know, I am from uh, Montserrat and recently in the news, it's been a whole issue with a gas situation going on down there. And normally I try not to get involved with politics, but it is so frustrating. You know, the last two, the last two governments, I'm just wondering what in the world are they doing? I was listening to um, radio station, the local radio station down there on Monday. And uh, there was a live, there was a live on there with, uh, Oh, goodness. I believe his name is John Osborne. He runs one of the gas stations. Now, let me explain to you. Montserrat is very small. Population is very small. Since the volcano, a lot of people, they relocated um, to other islands, um, to the UK for sure. So population is small. And the issue, there's a I was on Facebook and someone had a, actually drove, I don't know if it was Basil Chambers. He is a local radio um, jockey on, on island on ZJB and he drove and I thought it was a long line of cars parked. Lo and behold, these were residents looking to get gas. Yes, there is gas on the island. However, uh, the gas stations, you know, they're taking a, a, a stand. Um, they've mentioned situations, I guess they, I'm not sure how gas works. Um, you know, how much on how much percentage or how much the dollar or gallon actually goes back to the gas station. Um, However, these are things that the gas station um, owners have talked about in the past. So what's going on now is something that the government of Montserrat could have avoided They could have avoided this. And I do not blame them whatsoever for what they have to do. Unfortunately, it is the residents who are suffering. But this is what happens when you have incapable people running the government. And I am so sick and tired of politics getting away of people um, living a decent life. This is something I try my best not to to talk about politics. I I no, it's just something. But when you, but when I saw the that long line, I thought I thought it was cars parked. And when I listened to the um, the radio interview on Monday, if anyone. Um, if anyone is listening here from us at Basil Chambers has it on his Facebook page. So I went and I, I listened to it and I listened to Mr. Osborne stating his facts, his recollection. This is not something that just stated. In fact, I believe he said in July, he wrote a letter basically um, stating what needs to get done on on their behalf in order for them to continue to, to do business. And he gave them until September 29th. They did nothing. So guess what, Mr. Osmond, I salute you. I salute you. I would love to, um, you know, I do a monthly podcast. I usually interview uh, women, but I would gladly, gladly love to interview you. If anyone knows him, um, I might try to see if I can find him on social media or LinkedIn or what. Um, I would love to interview him because 
You know, sometimes you don't want to talk about your your country, but the government is horrible. Elections are coming up in a year. Who is qualified to run? I remember um, when I was doing my when I was doing my thesis, uh, I did um, my master's in leadership and organizational change with an international uh, concentration. And I remember I was doing my thesis and I was kind of focusing on on Montra. At the time, the premier uh, was Ruben Mead. And folks could talk all the trash that they want. But let me tell you something. There was a hype. There was a hype in in um, in Montserrat actually building itself back up again. And let me explain something to you. Pre-volcano, Montserrat, you know, granted Hugo happened. It was bouncing back from, from Hugo. But it was never like this. I remember I, myself... After I was seeing what was what what was happening, after I was seeing the plans for the new hospital, after I was seeing plans which you know uh, obviously was was um, he was being he he was being opposed. Well, I guess his plan mm, his plan basically it didn't win over uh, to build a, a resort. And you know I don't want to give false information, but I believe it was possible um, investors from outside of the island. Uh, but there was a hype. I myself was ready to move back after I um, finished after I finished um, my master's program. I remember having conversations with him, and you know, and I loved his mind frame because the problem is, you know, Montserrat is a British colony still. But there were positions. And what happens, you have expatriates that come in and get the positions. And from what I gather, it seemed as though people in power have low expectations of, of locals. And this was something that he was trying to change. But in order for that to change, he was trying to do things where the diaspora would even want to come back. Fast forward to who took over from him and who's in power now. What, what, seriously, I, I'm trying to see from the outside what has been done. It's sickening. Anyway, we're going to take this pause and we will be back. Okay, okay. When we go up, we do it like they never could. When we go up, we do it like they never could. We go harder, we go harder, we go harder, and do it like they never could. When we go up, we do it like they never could. When we go up, we do it like they never could. We go
welcome back y'all welcome back i know i was ranting and raving um i'm also very hungry <laughs> so let me let me just explain this i um i'm actually i'm actually fasting so but so i you know food and me we're, we're very good friends so when it doesn't happen it's like whoo okay <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, I was serious, though, about what I was saying in regards to the government um, and the powers that be on my beautiful island of of Montserrat. Um, however, there are initiatives out there to do something uh, to improve Montserrat. Um, and this effort is called Village 664. So 664 is the area code um, of Montserrat. So Village 664, you know, that's pretty much an, init an initiative that encourages every Montserratian at home, as well as in the diaspora, um, friends of Montserrat and even visitors to commit to helping Montserrat to return to his former glory and beyond. Um, so this effort is happening. Uh, the mission of Village 664 is to mobilize the intellectual and financial resources overseas by building relationship with persons and organizations both on and off island to ensure a brighter future for Montserrat is not to um, take over, undermine the residents at all, is to form a collaboration. Because there is one thing that we all we all share is the love of Montserrat. Montserrat is beautiful, um, you know, and just just knowing, just knowing uh, the talents and and the brains that, that come from this wonderful island, you just know, you know, it is possible. Uh, Real Estate 664 um, has a vision to become an, um, an outcome-focused and trusted resource for those seeking to improve socioeconomic conditions on Montserrat. Because what's happening right now, it's, it's not a good look. So um, if you are interested in learning more about Village 664, uh, you can you can visit the website that's village six six four dot com. You can send an email at info at village six six four dot com. You know, I for one am very excited for you know for what can for what can happen with this initiative and just pray that you know everyone um everyone chooses to be a part of it or somehow support it share the word um as you know monster it can be all of that on another note i actually um saw a post in uh for a position down there um is actually deputy governor uh position so I believe, unfortunately, oh, the deadline is today, the 13th. Um, but um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, um, you know, the position is filled and something great comes out of it from whoever fills, you know, this position. So hoping that this talent is capable, you know, has the experience, um, the capability, you know, has the ability to help reform the public service and motivate public officers to deliver first-class services needed to make Monster out a place where residents want to stay and those in the diaspora wish to return to and or invest in. So, with that being said, unfortunately, um, the deadline is today, but uh, I'm not quite sure what time today. Um, however, I just I just pray 
I just pray for um for my country. Oh, the application will be due eleven fifty five. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Eleven fifty five p.m. on Friday the twentieth. Oh, I thought it was the um. I thought it was today. So um, if you are interested, you can um, apply civilservicejobs.service.gov.uk. All right. Um, so that is my rant and rave. Um, it comes out of a place of love. You know, anyone who's ever visited Montserrat with me, they love it. Um, absolutely love it. It's such a beautiful place. You you go there and it's just a rejuvenation. So, you know, just wanted to kind of put that out there. And wait a minute, did I even say what song was playing when I came back? I don't think I did. <laughs> anyway, the song that was playing was um, When We Grow Up with Fan. Um, I guess it's a Viking type of morning. So once again, just wanted to put that out there. Village 664. I um, I, I believe this is going to um, be a great initiative. And please get involved somehow. If you are out there, if you are part of this diaspora, if you are a friend of Montserrat, um, I encourage you. To be a to be a part of uh, restoring it to its glory and beyond. All right, so let's take this break and we will be right back. I tend to um to sing when I'm hungry. Matter of fact, I sing when I'm happy. I guess I just like to sing. Um, I'm telling you, if I had pipes like Whitney Houston, uh, rest her soul. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what my husband would do. <laughs> anyway, we'll be right back after this. A new day dawning and fat and calling. No time for stalling. Let's go, let's go. Wake up everyone who's sleeping. Meet me on the road. New inspiration. No content. Welcome back. So you were listening to Raise by Fan. 
Let me tell you, Raise, I think, is one of my favorite um, fan songs, honestly. Like, I'm listening to it. It's it's um, it's some years old. Uh, I know it's not quite 10 years, but it's... It's it's up there. It it has to be at least seven, eight years or so old. But that song, I absolutely love that song. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed it as well. And if you did not know who Fan is, um, hey, check her out. Uh, Google her. Check her out. Check out Bungie Gollin as well. Dynamic um husband and wife team. Uh, anyway, um. Yeah, so, oh, wait a minute. How did I not share this? Earlier in the week, I had a colonoscopy. Uh, It was Tuesday, and let me tell you, the Monday before, that was pure, pure torture. Now, I know I say I'm fasting, but I, I will eat. Monday, I could not eat at all. And I was, I mean, um, yeah, Monday, I could not eat at all. And I was up early because believe it or not, because of how um, I got my appointment since July. And I remember my, my husband was looking for an appointment too. How ironic. They they gave us appointments. Uh, his was on Monday. Mine was on Tuesday. And um, his was early. So I was up early early on Monday. So I was beyond hungry. <laughs> anyway, um hey, if you are, you know, at that age where colonoscopies need to be done, don't hesitate to do it. I believe now before I think it was started at 50, but now it's like 45. So hey, your health is your wealth. Right. So on that note, um, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you for tuning in. And I'm also reminding you, if you want to interview with me, if you want to advertise with me, hit me up, 704-965-7760, 704-965-7760. So once again, I just want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of Pause Reset Unplugged. You can meet me right here next Friday at 9 a.m. In the meantime, I'm encouraging you to enjoy your weekend. Help someone protect your peace. All right. And whatever you do, be safe doing it. Till next time, Godspeed. Godspeed.